Okay, so we have sound and we will make a UI for it. So, for example, this is the typical start. So I will right click on it, clear and learn, and that's it. Or actually it can be even quicker, but I don't just use it. Quick learn and just touch it. Okay, so we have a shape and it uses mess as the default, which is a nonsense. We will use a default as, for example, I don't really care. And now we want to control unison. So just touch it a few times and call it. I usually do it like this, so I will do it this way again because I'm not used to the quick learn. So I will just name it oscillator. This is the group and this is the this is the parameter. It's basically all you need to do. And here I will change the group again to the oscillator so they are all grouped. Nice. And it's a switch and the default should be something reasonable. So yeah. Uh, the filter is killing it. I thought, like, why cannot even hear it? And the sine wave also kind of sucks. So let's make this. This is where you control what the multi parameter actually does, and here's how it looks in the GUI. So, works, okay. Now, how about voices? Okay, it doesn't seem to make any sense above like eight. So you put a cap okay. on it, yeah? Yep. And again, oscillator and voices. Where's the min max values? Min max values are here. For every parameter, it is attached. Uh, that's all listed here. And if you select it, you have the gotcha. range here. And so there are lots of things you can do with this uh, multi parameter. So I'm just really scr scratching the surface, but I think <laughs> it's enough. And now, that's the first, perhaps, I mean, like, uh, in interesting thing you should know is the units. Because right now it's showing 50%, but I would like to know what, how many voices, right? So here is how you define what, what you did show. So I will choose by first parameter. So we'll just take the value from this parameter. That's it. So it will now show the voices. And I would like four to be default. So I just go here and click set value. That's it. I'm going quickly. So it's possible that you don't understand everything. Feel free to ask or anything. Uh, there are tutorials for it. So we're I'm just also going to. This stream will be archived on the channel. We'll also make some highlight yeah. videos that people can easily rewatch and digest. Yeah. But I mean, I'm only trying to show what's possible and how quickly it can be done, not really a tutorial or anything. So that's, uh, that's let's say, everything for the oscillator. And what can we do with the sampler? What can we do with the sampler? Hmm, there's not much to do with the sampler. So we can probably process the samplers somehow. <laughs> and we have my favorite resonator. And so we can and we can obviously have a control to control the ratio between the oscillator and the sampler. So let's call it well, ratio or mix. Hmm, now nah, ratio is fine. So and this should probably be a little louder. And let's just do some random fiddling. Oh, that's not so interesting. 
But anyways, let's let's give it some more interest with some. Oh, we can put it. Th this is actually interesting. Uh, unlike basically every other instrument I have ever seen, uh, here you can actually throw effects into the per voice chain, which means these will allocate one reverb for every voice you have. Now, usually it doesn't make much sense. For example, well, yeah, it, it still makes sense even here, because, yeah, it, it still makes sense. But usually it's especially useful with distortions, because if you distort a mix of voices, it sounds usually quite horrific unless you play like a fifth. Uh, but if you distort individual voices, it's quite fine usually. So let's distort it. <laughs> okay. And let's disable our effect. And that's because... Now that is getting more original. Not that I would like to use this in my music, but <laughs> for better than nothing. Okay, and now we can, for example, control how much reverb we want and what kind of resonate we want. So the feedback is most important for the, for the resonator. It's not doing that much. Seems like the saturator is killing it anyways. Oh, no, it's not. But maybe... Okay, let's give it a bigger range. So the range for the resonator will be... Okay, let's go. Let's go down there too. Sometimes you just need to, you know, try and see. For example, with feedback, it's mm, quite typical the case where you go to the positive feedback and you expect it to sound quite similar with the negative feedback and it sounds completely different. So, let's see. Yeah, like in this case. <laughs> so, now it's getting more interesting. And again, by first parameter. By the way, uh, are you still there? I'm oh, just yeah. thinking... Okay, uh, I'm just thinking, uh, you know, if I'm not talking to myself, because it happened to me sometimes. No, I'm just, I'm mesmerized. <laughs> uh, we've got a couple okay. hundred people watching. We're all just yeah, we're trying to pick our jaws up off the floor on what's happening right now. Trust me, okay. you're killing it. Keep going. Okay, so, well, let's call it sample. Sample, okay. And feedback. It doesn't really make, make much sense in the context of a sample, but yeah. And saving, by the way, I just pressed Control S just in case I'm still forgetting it. You know, when I'm talking in front of the people, I'm just not doing the things that I would do normally. <laughs> yeah. I like this. This is this is this is horrifying. Yes, yeah, it really is evil, man. It's evil. Exactly. I like I like evil sounds. <laughs> so. Uh, what can we do to, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's let's give it some octaves and I will show you a, a different kind of GUI you can have. So let's just say you don't want a knob on your GUI and you want a selector, it's surprisingly simple. But to do that, I will probably show the Jesus. It's so hard to work with a so small screen. screen. Everybody, <laughs> we've forced we forced Melda to be on regular HD for the stream. So this is our fault. Um, usually he has a monitor that is as wide as my room is long. So and not true, but it's 4K. So yeah. <laughs> so uh, this parameter cannot be different than just these four values. So knob doesn't really make much sense for it. I forget to name it. So hmm. Shift. Whatever. Okay. And 
now we can already check out the edit screen and there, yeah, see, it's horrible. But we will make it better, and it's it's really easy. So this is this is the GUI that you've been creating. This is the GUI which I'm creating, and so far it sucks, as you can see. But it's going to be good pretty soon. One step at a time. Yeah. So the shift, I want to make it a selector. And I set it to selector, and it creates this. This is weird, right? That's because it doesn't know we have four values. So, and now we have persons. That's not ideal either. So we should put it by first parameter. Simple. That's awesome. Uh, you can actually name it for yourself. Using the banks mode there, you can do like all kinds of crazy stuff, but I'm not going to get there at this point. It would only confuse people. So now let's make it a little, little nicer. So first of all, I think the oscillator should be next to the sampler. So, ah, uh, oh, Jesus. Oh. The, the, I, I hate this about Reaper. Whenever I press escape, even if I'm inside a different window, it just sometimes closes the closes the plugin. It's probably because the, the window is actually selected, but, but still, you know, it's, it's surprising sometimes. Okay, so uh, if you, there are some secret shortcuts, but uh, no, you don't need shortcuts anymore because we enhanced the GUI recently <laughs> in the version 15, I think. So if you right click on on any of the of the knobs or any control, basically, you can see these things like for middle and, and, and stuff. But what I'm interested in is the manager which is the manager for the multi-parameters, where I can reorder them easily, and now I can get to them easily. And what I need is the save row. Save row is the answer for most GUI questions. Now it's way better. And the unison should perhaps be below it. I don't know. Maybe it should be uh, title button, title button. No, no, it's here. What? <laughs> hey, anyways, the thing is, uh, this is kind of a music of the past. Um, we still need it because some people don't like the custom GUIs.